But the beauty for the ProtoTrack SMX is the fact that it will do your CNC programming right at the control itself because it has CAD CAM software built in. So for instance, if you want to do a part like this, you take a look at that and say, hmm, how much time would that take me on a manual mill? Three hours? Four hours? We have a couple of arcs here that are not on the same center line, a bolt hole pattern, and a pocket in the center, plus this outside hole profile. Well, let's take a look at how long it takes us to program something like this on the ProtoTrack control. So we'll press the programming function here, and we can name the program if we want to, uh, and save it. But uh, say, for instance, we pull it up from a, a, a save program, customer comes back and says, you know what, that part you made me was great, I just need it to be 20% bigger. No problem, I can come here and scale it up or down, I don't have to change any numbers at all, I just say I need it 20% bigger, and the control will calculate all those numbers for me. You can put comments in there if you want to. You can have up to six fixtures on your table at the same time. And if you do that, you can have uh, that turned on. And instead of going through this, we'll just go to the beginning. And what we'll do is we'll start off by doing the bolt hole pattern first, and then we'll do the pocket, and then the outside profile. So, bolt hole. And it'll ask us, do you want to drill, bore, or tap the hole? Number one for drill, that's what we want to do. Hit one. How many holes? Five holes. What's the center? We'll call this center uh, zero, zero, which also happens to be the center of the hole pattern. So I can hit zero, set, zero, set, or I can just hit set, set, because it assumes zero. Z rapid means I want to wrap it down to 100 thou above the workpiece, and once it hits 100 thou above the workpiece, it'll start milling. And how far will it mill? Well, it's quarter inch aluminum plate, we wanna drill through it, so let's just say we'll go 300 thou negative to go into the material. The radius of this bolt pattern, 1.25 inch. Punch that in. And the angle of the first hole, it's calculated from the three o'clock position going counterclockwise, and this first hole is 45 degrees. Now, whenever you see a question mark next to the help, if you press the help button, you'll have different options you can use. So when we're drilling this hole, we can do it three ways, variable, fixed, or chip break when it comes to clearing the chips. Variable means the first time the drill goes into the hole, it will go the deepest, come back out of the hole completely, go back in a little bit shallower, come back out of the hole, third time a little bit shallower than the second time, but every single time it comes back out of the hole to clear the chips. Fixed means every time it goes into the hole, it'll always go down the same amount. So, but each time it also comes back to uh, clear the chips. And the chip break means I'm not gonna come right out of the hole to clear the chips, I'm just gonna back off enough to chip, uh, break the chips and back into the hole. Uh, so I'm gonna use that method, chip break. For a quarter inch material, you know, whatever, it's a demo, so I'll just say three. And the RPM, again, it's a demo, so you can use whatever you like, but I'll just say 2,000 RPM for that quarter inch drill. Feed rate, how quickly to go into the material. Let's say we go in at 10 inches per minute, and we'll say that our drill is tool number one. So now that we have uh, the bolt hole um, calculated, and entered in, we'll do this pocket next. And we'll come over here where it says pocket. Is it a circular pocket, regular pocket, irregular pocket? Well, it's circular. But just to show you as well, while we're here, I don't have to necessarily do a pocket. Maybe I wanna do an island. So I'll machine everything but this particular portion in the center. Again, circular, rectangular, or irregularly shaped. Face mill. I have a, a shape like this, and I just wanna mill off the face, no problem, that's what I do here. But in this particular case, circular pocket, circular pocket, press that. The center is the center of our piece, which is zero, zero. Again, we'll wrap it down to 100 thou above the work piece before we start milling. And the pocket itself is 200 thou deep. Negative 200 thou, because we're going into the material. Radius, radius is three quarters of an inch, 
0.75 we punch in and the direction because we're working on a CNC machine we can now climb mill so when we're climb milling the inside uh, pocket like this we'll go counterclockwise so counterclockwise is two and how many passes again demo purposes let's just say two passes and the entry mode when we're entering into the material with our end mill we can punch it in for zigzag ramping it in or just plunging the end mill right into there. So what we'll do is we'll zigzag it in to save the uh, cutter and uh, leave say 10 thou for a finishing cut. RPM, well again it's demo purposes so let's just leave it at 2000. Uh, finishing RPM, we'll bump it up to say 2400. And uh, the feed rate, I'll go a little bit slower eight inches into the material, eight inches per minute into the material. And while we're actually machining, we can go around and say, I don't know, 15 inches per minute. Finishing feed rate, we'll slow it down a little bit. We'll go to 12 like it has here. So we'll punch it in at 12 inches per minute and we'll use tool number two, which will be our half inch end mill. So we have our uh, circular pocket in there, but is it what we wanted? There's a button here that says, look, look, there it is. Our five holes and our pocket all done. So we have one more thing to do, which is this outside profile. And to do that, I can do it all in one step by selecting profile, circular, rectangular, or irregularly shaped. Yep, that is irregularly shaped. And so we'll start off Again, because it's a CNC, we can climb mill. So we'll start off down here and climb mill all the way around the outside. So our start point will be down here, which is, again, on the x-axis, this way is plus, this way is minus. Y-axis, this way is plus, this way is minus. So x remains at zero, but y goes down the radius of this arc at 2.45 negative. So we're going to start zero and 2.45 negative. Wrap it down to 100 thou above the workpiece again and this time we're going to go right through the quarter inch aluminum plate. So go 0.25 negative because we're going into the material again and it's going to ask us where is our tool going to be? We're starting here, we're going this way. Is the tool going to be on the left side, on the right side, or is the tool going to be going down the center of the line that we're about to program? Well, we want the tool to be on the left side of the line in this particular case. So we take a look here, it says two for two left, two indeed. How many passes? Fine, two passes. Uh, finishing cut, again, let's leave 10 thou for that. RPM carries over from before, 2000. Finishing RPM, 2400. Feed rate, same as before, same as before, same as before. And tool number, same as before. Great. So we have our start point, and from here we're going to mill this line. And so we have two options, mill and arc. So we'll mill. AGE basically just stands for Auto Geometry Engine, which is the name of the CAD CAM software that is built in. So again, we'll mill that line. And you'll notice here it says, not OK. I don't have enough information for you to move on to the next step. So we have to give it some information, and that is where X and Y will end. Starting here going up here. So X will go back 3.064 in the negative direction. Y is going to be positive 0.5045 to get us up to this point. So we punch that in 3.064 negative for the X and Y is 0.5045 and that's positive. Look, it's now okay. But if I don't enter in one more step, I'm going to have this sharp corner. In fact, uh, instead of the sharp corner, I want to put a little radius in here of 0.841. So this next step asks us, what is the Conrad? Conrad, all that means is connecting radius. Connects two points with a radius, which is what we want here. And the connecting radius is 0.841. So this remains okay, means I don't have to enter in any more information. Angle end, length, line angle, who cares? I don't, because the control will take care of it for me page forward. The red numbers is what the control fills in for me. The black numbers is what I told the control. So from here, 
What we'll do is we'll mill this line here. So again, we'll hit mill. Not okay. Tangent basically means I'm going to be blending this step with the previous step so there's no sharp corners. In this particular uh, example, we won't have to worry about that at all. So I'll just skip it by pressing step, saying no. Where are we going to end off? Well, we'll end off up here, which is again x is 0, and y is now the positive 2.45. 0, positive 2.45, not okay. Okay, great. I don't have to worry about any more of this. Page forward, red numbers is what the computer fills in. It figures it all out for me. I'm going to finish off with this arc here. So I'm going to press arc. Again, I'm not blending with the previous step. The direction of this arc is clockwise, one for clockwise. Where are we going to end off? Well, we'll end off where we started. Zero and minus 2.45 for the y-axis. Zero, 2.45, minus. And what's the center of the arc? Center is the center of our piece, which is zero, zero. OK, wonderful. Let's take a look if we're OK. There it is. So we have the five bolt hole pattern here, the pocket and the profile all done in how long? 10 minutes? And now say for instance somebody runs back in and says, wait, wait, wait. This radius here, not 0.841, I was crazy. I have to change that. No problem. Hit the list step button here. This step turns purple and this turns purple to show you which one it's referring to. That's the bolt hole. There they are in purple. List. Again, purple, circular pocket, list, and this is the step we want to change. So I hit look, takes me right back to that step, I hit data forward, I come to that radius, and instead of 0 0.841, he says, oh, I was crazy, I really wanted 1.25. I punch that in, take a look, and I've just changed the radius. So the nice thing is you will never ever see G code here. Whether you're programming or reprogramming it, you will always be doing it in English and it'll be just this simple.